Good morning. Today we're here at Dollar General. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. This is we come into Dollar General here. I noticed they're low on milk too. They do have some whole milk though. Three dollars and fifteen cents. It's uh, pretty expensive for Dollar General around here. They used to be two ninety five, but everything's going up. I will say I do love this Dollar General. Uh, they are pretty packed with stuff. Got some Heinz ketchup here, four dollars twenty five cents, down from four fifty. Not too bad there. Three ninety nine at Kroger this week on the buy five or more save a dollar each deal. Looks like Hidden Valley Ranch is going up everywhere. This was three ninety five the last time I was here, so it's been a little while. Been a little while, but we've got the craft difference. They don't have the one I like, the bourbon and brown sugar. This did go up though. These were a dollar fifty, now a dollar seventy five. But you do always have to check the instantly save things when you spend ten dollars on Kraft or Heinz condiments. Instantly save two dollars. Not bad. We've seen a lot of things here at Dollar General. Um, good deal on the Clover Valley mustard here. Still a dollar. Uh, it's like one of the only stores where we can still find some things for a dollar. They got the Clover Valley Dijon mustard. Somebody was asking about this a while back. Still a dollar twenty-five. Four dollars for the Olive Garden sauces. Look at this though. They got the Parmesan Ranch. Somebody asked about that. Got the classic Caesar here, four dollars, same price as it is everywhere, but they got other options. I remember the last time I came to Dollar General, somebody was asking about the Clover Valley asparagus spears in a can. Three dollars and twenty-five cents. These were two ninety-five the last time I was here. I was expecting a lot of things. Will probably have gone up in price since the last time I was here. So Pennsylvania Dutchman, this doesn't go here, I don't think. But they've got the Polar brand mushrooms here, one dollar. These have been going to even Walmart, even the Great Value brand is a dollar fifty now. They've still got the Van Camps for a dollar here. Van Camps pork and beans. They do still have some okay deals here, guys. They got the ten ounce of the original, original uh, A1 sauce. This is part of the Kraft and Heinz. Save $2 instantly, though, when you spend $10, so keep that in mind. The one they have at Dollar Tree is $1.25, but it's the thick and hearty, not the original. Look at this. You got Heinz 57. $1. That's going in the cart. They've got Peter Pan peanut butter here for $2.65. That is up from $2.50, but it's pretty much $2.99 everywhere else. Uh, some stores you can find it a little cheaper. I think it's still $2.69 at Meyer. And they've got the Jif peanut butter here. $2.75 for the 16 ounce. Uh, $2.99 pretty much everywhere else now. Got the Clover Valley on an even lower price. March 19th through June 17th. This big, huge 40 ounce container. Uh, $4.50 down from $4.75. But you save a quarter. Got a lot of good comments on Clover Valley peanut butter. They also have the Welch's grape jelly here for, uh, this is the 30 ounce for $3, and then they have their own grape jelly here, $2, but this is 18 ounces. That must be all craft products here also. They've got uh, mayonnaise, the craft mayo on here, part of that instantly save $2. These are $4.75 regular price, but once you get to $10, you save $2 instantly. They have the Del Monte canned vegetables, the classics, for a dollar a can. And the Clover Valley, still three for two dollars. I had a feeling that was going to go up. They got some of the sliced potatoes here for a dollar. Good to see we can still find a little bit of good deals here. Um, Bush's baked beans are $2.50 here for the big can. This is the 21 ounce. That's $2.69 pretty much everywhere else. Let's see, they've got the Clover Valley Pinto Beans, $1.35. Got the Chili Beans, uh, even lower price for $1. Yeah, might be time to uh, get, to dollar, get to Dollar General. They've got the Ocean Spray. Different juices here, $3.45. Uh, but at least they have them in, though. A lot of places we've been seeing a shortage. Even got some comments there's been a shortage. Welch's Grape Juice, $5, pretty much 
this price everywhere now but again always check online i know it's kind of a bummer to do digital coupons sometimes but dollar general does have a digital coupon also they still are running the five dollars off twenty five dollar purchase on saturdays at least in cincinnati ohio here also today is may 11th 2023 just for point of reference at the time of this video Got a lot of these drink mixes here for a dollar still can't even get these it, you know it's like all this stuff we see at dollar tree it's like you're paying an extra quarter every time dollar general still has look at this they got some three for a dollar oh the kool-aid packs okay this is a huge dollar area right here um, they don't have much but they got the takis uh, chips it's pretty popular they are hot they are pretty hot so you might want to have a glass of milk sitting next to you when you try those bad boys they got the flow uh, different milk here or the flow what is it? no it's the water the alkaline spring water so I don't know it's kind of funny when you see alkaline water I always think of well that's a battery in it <laughs> just kidding but um, yeah pretty low on their dollar area but I'm sure a lot of people are buying this stuff up because prices have just gotten ridiculous it's good to see the Dollar General even has this still so it might be a little loud here with the refrigerators going on here but just wanted to point out a lot of the frozen items here at Dollar General are going to be about the same or sometimes more than what you're going to pay at a major grocery store but it's nice that they do carry this stuff oh it just kicked off there that's nice got the egos here for 350 they got the clover valley here for three dollars some hot pot two hot pockets for three dollars and fifty cents those are the breakfast ones though so those are going to be a little more expensive they got one here for 425 and they got some waffle fries in here crazy price though Let's see you got the grown in idaho all those are the checkers fries there and uh, they don't have them those are the arby's they're 625 as well used to love arby's fries and then they change the ingredients of the oil they cook them in and they just do not taste the same some bird's eye vegetables here two dollars and 75 cents yeah we can find better deals on this well dollar 50 for the sweet peas usually a dollar 29 at kroger but that's probably gone up at the recording of this video this particular dollar general has a lot of different frozen options it's pretty nice one of the bigger ones uh around here carry some of the gorton's fish products again for frozen items this is more of a convenience thing you're going to pay a lot more than you're going to pay it like kroger or something but not much more 10 beer batter fillets there 7.95 um, these were a lot cheaper the last time i was here but again it's been a little while uh, i got some hot dogs here yeah armor hot dogs for three dollars yeah no thanks uh, well no they got the regular ones here for $1.75 okay these ones have cheese in them mm, you had that cheese you had a premium price Got the Eckridge smoked sausage here, four fifty. Yeah, that's a bit much. Uh, let's see. Got some other Armor hot dogs right here for a dollar fifty. Just depends on what you like. Um, if you want the beef, they're going to cost you a little more. If you want the pork and everything else mixed in, a little less. So they got the Oscar Mayer cheese dogs here. They uh, it only comes with five of them. It looks like for five dollars. So pretty much a dollar a dog. Got some of the bologna here some of the armor um you know i used to like armor uh deli products i don't know though last time i got them though i don't know it kind of tasted i used to get the ham the one right here and i actually got it twice when it originally because i thought i had a bad bag and i got it again i was like nope i'm done get some bologna here that's a lot of bologna for 350 oscar meyer that's the thicker cut now they got these nine ounce packs of Oscar Mayer deli meat here. Five dollars. That's the same as it is everywhere. And they got Land of Frost. Three dollars and twenty-five cents. That's cheaper than Walmart. Oh, it's not the one pound package though. That's why. Even got little cans of that's not really a great deal. Two fifty for about half the size of uh, a regular size can. Oh look at this. 
they got eggs in. $1.75. That is what I'm talking about, guys. These got up over $4 back when the eggs were skyrocketing during the, uh, the bird cough. Got some cheese here. Borden's cheese. Never tried this cheese. Um, we got some good comments on Clover Valley cheese, though, but it is $4.50 for 24 slices. That seems a bit much. They do have these thinner... Let's see, these are, oh no, they're eight ounce packs. Eight ounce, just looks deceiving, I guess. These are $3, again, for, for convenience of coming in here and not having to wait in a huge line at either Walmart or Kroger or anywhere for that matter. You know, it's not too bad. Got some cottage cheese here, cottage cheese, another option. Sour cream, you get a lot of comments on this of all the shortages across the country lately. Dollar General's another option some different coffee creamers here they got some duncan down here they got the international delight they didn't have international delight for the longest time we saw a major shortage of this about a year ago and dollar dollar general was really hurting on this stuff but they always had clover valley it's up a lot more than it's ever been though it was 295 the last time i checked 345 now they do carry some of the fair life milk which we get comments on all the time they got some of the silk milk which we always get, get comments on this the almond milk $4.60, though. We can find that cheaper pretty much anywhere else. Uh, Clover Valley lactose-free milk is $4.25. And let's see. You got some orange juice here. Let's compare these prices. Okay. Look at this. Lower price on Simply Orange. Cheaper than Kroger. $4. Well, not regular price. Kroger's is $4.29 right now. Uh, $4 on sale here at Dollar General. $4.75 for Tropicana. I don't know what is up with Tropicana, but it is just skyrocketing in price lately. $4.49 at Kroger. So a little more here, but this just keeps going up. Water here is a little pricey, especially for Dasani. It is $6.30 for a 24-pack. We can find that cheaper. Uh, they've got the Clover Valley distilled water over here. They got two of them. $1.50. That'll be $1.50 until June 17th, 2023. And again, always check for these little little sales they might have on something. These Bay uh, different drinks here. We get comments on these from time to time. $2.15 regular price. Oof. Two for $3.50 though. So a little better there. They got the sparkling ice drinks for the same price they got them at Kroger. I thought Kroger was the only one that had these on sale. I guess uh, Dollar General sells them for a dollar all the time. That's cool. So we're going to see cheaper prices on the coffee here, but keep in mind the coffee is smaller. They are not the same size as the ones. Well, wait a minute. Is this a 22? No. That is 19.2 ounces, but it is $8.75. The classic roast here, that is the 25.9 ounces. I got really excited there for a second, but it's $10.75. $10.99 at Kroger, so you're not saving too much. But look at this. Free, free Clover Valley non-dairy creamer, 10 ounce, when you spend $10 on Folgers items. Always nice getting something for free. Okay, so they do have the 30.6 ounce of Maxwell House here. It's $10.20, but the ones of the Colombian, they're smaller, 25.6 ounces uh, for the breakfast blend, and then the Colombian is 24.5 ounces for $10.20. So... Yeah, a little much on uh, Maxwell House, but this one right here, this is 23 ounces for $7.50. And then these, see, see this really, so this is 11 and a half ounces for $6. I don't feel like this is worth it. Also, the Folgers decaf here, they only have the small one, and it is $6.75 for that. But they do have the Clover Valley here, which is up from $4.50. Uh, I remember somebody was looking for this the last time. Uh, five dollars though i mean that's a pretty good price if it's any good they do have some instant coffees up here i do see the bricked cafe pastello but there's no price on it uh you got the clover valley instant coffee again i know i ask this every time we come to dollar general but let us know down in the comments what some of your favorite clover valley products are uh, maybe we'll give them a sh give them a try the next time we come got some different pods here um folgers pods have gotten expensive i mean i feel like this is way too much 
especially for Dollar General. But any Dunkin' or Folgers bags 11 to 12 ounces or K-Cups 10 to 24 count assorted buy two save a dollar with the Dollar General digital coupon. They do have some smaller artificial sweeteners here. You got the Stevia here, $1.75. Let's see, this is 50 packets. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, this stuff's usually pretty expensive. They got the Truvia here for $3. Splenda, 50 packets for $3. That seems a bit pricey. Got the Splenda Stevia here. This is $3. And then they have the Sweet and Low. How many packets is this? 100 packets for $2.85. So I just walked back past the freezer aisle here. I remember somebody was asking me uh, some of the prices of Stouffer's. Just saw this here. Um, yeah, $5 for a Stouffer meal is way too much here. Um, but they're right around, you know, they, they've gotten up there. I've seen some for $3.99 in some stores. So $2.25 for banquet. That's crazy. I've noticed most pop has gone up here since the last time I was here because they were $6.50. Now they're $7.50. So to be fair though, it's been a it's been a little while since I've been to Dollar General. So yeah, it looks like pretty much all of them, uh, at least all the Pepsi products, uh, all the 7-Up products are the same price. They do have something going on too for $14. But we can find better deals at Kroger, Meyer when they have them on sale. Uh, let's see if Coke might actually be a little more. And not on sale at Kroger. These are $8.99 now. So this would be a deal on the regular price. But yeah, these are $7.95 for the Coke products. Or two for $14. Looks like everywhere is selling the Armor Vienna sausages for a dollar anymore. $0.95 cents here. They've got the... Star Kiss Tuna, you know these were a dollar. They had the little dollar sign on here forever. Notice they went up to a dollar fifteen. Pretty much going up everywhere. Uh, they got the different Clover Valley Tuna packets for a dollar, but the Star Kiss ones are going to cost you a dollar fifty. Got some Denty More soup here for three forty-five. That's another item that keeps going up. We even saw that go up at Walmart. They got Spam here for three sixty. That's pretty much been going up to $3.99 everywhere. And the Swanson chicken breast here, $4.35 now. $4.35. This was $3.95. Well, no, $4. $4 at this one. I did see it for $3.95 at another Dollar General. So prices can vary, I guess, from store to store or just time to time. Maybe these were $3.95 at one point and then they just put a $4. A nickel really isn't too much to talk too much about i do notice that the Kreider went up here though uh this is two cans now for 550 this was five dollars and we've had a few comments on different macaroni and cheeses you know dollar general is another option so part of the reason why we come to these stores is not only to see if we can get a better price but to see if they just have it in so that you know we can kind of show other places to get some of the products that people have been having trouble finding um you know we've been getting a lot of comments around arizona out west uh california now of a lot of actually one of our viewers from california was one of the ones talking about macaroni and cheese saying they couldn't find any of it you know about a year ago that's how we that's where we were we're getting it in uh, pretty much everywhere right now but you know it's always good to stay on your toes with some of this stuff, especially with the prices, because you have to factor in the prices, then you have to factor in what are they getting it in. You know, I mean, there's so many little things. What is this? Uh, that's a Clover Valley product they don't have here. These nor uh, these nor pesticides are dollar twenty-five. They're on a digital coupon at Kroger right now this week for ninety-nine cents, and you can use that up to five times. Got the Campbell's Chunky Soup here, two fifteen. That's a great regular price. I kind of question that sticker though. That might be something you might just take a quick photo of, make sure they give it to you for that price. They do have the, see, right here, the Kitchen Classics. Whoops. Kitchen Classics here. Uh, this is good chicken noodle soup. It's probably one of my favorites. Again, always check the expiration dates uh, or best if used by dates, whatever you want to call it. This is good until 2025, so good to go on that. And it's only a dollar. Uh, $1.25 at Dollar Tree now, so good deal on those. Got Progresso here for $2.50. Um, you know, $2.99 at Kroger, so a little bit better deal than that. 
same price for ramen noodles here at Dollar General as it is at Dollar Tree, Dollar twenty-five. I had a feeling this was gonna go up. It didn't. These used to be a dollar, but now a dollar twenty-five. Forty-five cents here for the single packs of ramen. So this is your best deal by far. And then they have some other ones here, some of the big bowls. Some people will ask about. I know that I don't see any of the chow mein. Oh, here it is. There we go. They've got these here. Now these are a dollar fifty here. They sell out very quickly at Dollar Tree, but if you happen to see them there, they're a dollar twenty-five, obviously. And some of these uh, soups here have gotten pretty ridiculous as far as Campbell's goes. A lot of them are a dollar ninety-five here, dollar eighty-nine at Kroger. So you're not really saving too much for some of them, like chicken noodle and tomato is a dollar twenty-nine a can at Kroger. But even the cream of soups are the same price here as they are at Kroger, dollar fifty. But they do have a lot of the Clover Valley. We've never tried any of the Clover Valley like cream of anything or any of their soups. They are only a dollar a can though. Let us know down in the comments if you like them. A little bit of a sale on Prego here. Instantly save $2 when you spend $8 on all Prego products. So that would be pretty easy. All you'd have to do is buy two of these. Well, these are $4, these are three. So yeah, I guess you would have to get up to $8, but uh, Classico, uh, they're $2.75 here, pretty much the same prices everywhere, maybe a little higher in some other places, but they have a four times fuel points coupon um, at Kroger when you buy these now, so keep that in mind. Also, we saw Bertoli at Kroger for $1.49 a jar on a digital coupon, so you may want to check that out. Got some spaghetti here. Not much. People are buying this stuff up. People are buying it up because it's cheap. Uh, we've gotten a lot of good comments on Clover Valley Spaghetti. Uh, they have it right here. Two twenty-five though. Oh, this is for 32 ounces. It's in the wrong spot. This is one pound. It's for two pounds. Um, I don't even see a spot for... Oh, this is it right here. This is in the wrong spot. Okay. So, yes, this is a dollar. They have the extra wide noodles here. This is a 12 ounce bag for $2. And up here, we've got some chicken broth. Getting some comments on this. I know I don't point it out as much as I used to. We use bouillon cubes now. I just feel like they have better flavor and they really go the distance. Uh, $2.50 here for the Swanson, $2.69 at Meyer, and then I think they're still $3 at Kroger. So, but they don't have any of the chicken broth of the Clover Valley. Yeah, they, nope. A vegetable, but these are a dollar ninety-five. Just, just get it at Aldi. It's a dollar twenty-nine, and I think it's better than both. This is an awful big section for paper plates. I don't really think that they're like not getting any kinds in. They just, I don't know, may need to put something else on these shelves because they do have some, and I can't imagine they would carry much more than this. Some of them are pretty low. Uh, they got the True Living fifty-two plates here for five seventy-five. Yep, that's right. That's it. I know one of our longtime viewers was looking for some good sturdy paper plates. That's not a bad price either. $5.79 at Aldi is the best deal I've seen on plates like this. Uh, the Boulder brand, and I compare them to Dixie. Well, wait a minute now. These are $4.75. $4.75 for 48 plates. That's not these though. This is good and smart brand. Walking down this aisle here, I notice I got some pretty cool floats here. I don't know if these are good deals or not. This one looks comfortable though. Got a little H2O to go. Quick setup pool for your kids, 30 bucks. Um, I don't know, I feel like these used to be like $20, but I don't know, we're getting closer to summer guys. Time to check some of this stuff out. Oh, look at this. Little mini mouse bubble blower here. I like the ones where you don't have to do any work. You just put the put the stuff in there and watch it go. They do have a pretty cool selection of toys too. Um, don't really know a lot of these, but I mean they got some cool like Nerf guns and stuff. Pretty awesome. Eighteen dollars for that. That well, looks pretty heavy duty for eighteen dollars. It's like that one's gonna go pretty far. Look at this. What is this thing? The monorail blaster. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Somebody left a comment the other day that they went to Walmart and couldn't find any fans. Well, 
This is another little bit of an option. Not sure of the prices. They don't seem terrible. I feel like this would be about the same prices as uh, Walmart. We got some of the big ones here. 20, 20 inch fan here. Got some of the standing oscillating ones. Yeah, Dollar General. So I remember a couple months ago they were saying that there was going to be a shortage on charcoal. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen any shortage of charcoal anywhere around here. Let me know down in the comments if you have. Um, you got some little grills here. Yeah, I don't feel like that's too bad of a price. Now these are charcoal grills, so keep that in mind. Well, they don't have the giant jugs of it here, but they do have Sunny D. Um, let's see, this is the Tangy. I think you said you didn't like the Tangy. Um, looks like that's all they have here, and there's no price. These used to be a dollar here. They probably still are, but I don't know. Check this pillow out. It's actually pretty nice. Pretty soft. No price on it, though. Uh, might be $12. I didn't see anything on the sticker there. I always like pointing out the little things that uh, Dollar Tree sells that Dollar General sells also, but Dollar General has them for a dollar and Dollar Tree, Dollar Twenty Five. They carry both these um, out of the chocolate ones, but still saving twenty five cents on all these little items that Dollar Tree is now selling for a dollar twenty five. Look at that. I even saw Act 2 while well, it's the little mini bags. But I don't need much popcorn anyway for a buck. It's a good deal. Oh, look at this. They do have Pringles here. It's the cheapest I've seen them anywhere. $2.25. Still too much. I won't get them unless they're three for five. And really, I'm kind of just losing my taste for Pringles. I bought a can of the original, all part of that three for five deal that they had a while back and they taste different they're like way thicker they're not the thin crisp chip anymore i don't know i used to love pringles you guys know that but just not the consistency isn't there anymore first of all let me say that this dollar general is awesome it's actually a converted walgreens if you couldn't tell but uh it's really nice really nice people working here very friendly it's well organized it's not like thrown all the other dollar general we go to is pretty good too this one is just well lit you know it's it's very nice really like this dollar general um and, and you can get some deals here make sure you pay attention to the sales the digital coupons stuff like that i know a lot of people complain about digital coupons i you know i wish we didn't have to but these days it's really the only way we're gonna save guys thank you so much for watching the video today with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out there.